Hey guys, Fred here. Welcome back, AF Math and Engineering. We are doing a video on uh, soils, so geotechnical engineering. This is going to be the first of many videos we're going to do on this subject, so uh, we hope you like it. Let's get started. So we have a, a, what's called a phase diagram here. So we've taken a soil sample and we've broken up into its constituent parts. So we have air, water, and soil. Okay, so soil is made up of three components. It's made up of the air, the air voids that are trapped inside, the water that's mixed in, and the solids. And they all have, you know, different, uh, have different densities, right? So they're all mixed up as like a homogeneous kind of a mixture sometimes. Uh, sometimes they separate, but we need want to separate those into their components so that we can analyze it. Okay, so we have a meter cubed sample of moist soil, a block, and it weighs 2,100 kilograms. Okay, the water content is uh, 15%. Assume specific gravity of soil particle to be 2.7. Uh, answer the following questions. What is the dry unit weight of the soil? What is the void ratio of the soil? What is the saturation degree of the soil? And uh, we're also going to label this, uh, this diagram here. Okay, so uh, let's get started with the first question. So let's get started with A here. So we have the dry unit weight of the soil. Okay, so the dry unit weight of the soil um, is, is going to be gamma B, so we're going to say gamma D, which is the dry unit weight, that is equal to gamma D, so B, which is the, uh, the bulk uh, unit weight, divided by 1 plus the water content, okay, super straightforward. So that is going to be equal to the weight of the sample, which is 2100 kilograms. We're going to multiply that by gamma water, okay, so that's 9.81, and uh, if you want to include the units here, like all the units and, and that kind of stuff, uh, you can, I, I'm not going to do it, but if, you, if that helps you kind of uh, reason your way through it, which a lot of times it does, then you should definitely do that. Okay, and we have uh, 0 0.15 for the, uh, the water content, and we're going to end up with 17.914. So we're going to end up actually with 17,914, and uh, we just divide that by 1,000 so that we get it in a kilonewton per meter cubed unit. Okay, you can leave it in newtons per meter cubed if they, if they don't specify, but it's best to just kind of leave it in this form here because that's a little tighter. Okay, cool. So that's the first uh, question done. Let's move on to the second one. What is the void ratio of the soil? So the void ratio, this is a common question that comes up in soils and geotechnical engineering. You should always know the, the different formulas for void ratios because they're always asking about the void ratio. Okay, so the formula that we're going to use here, and, and a lot of the times the, uh, the void ratio changes, okay, depending on what, what not the void ratio, but the, the formula for the void ratio changes depending on what information we have. So uh, the void ratio formula that we're going to use here specifically is 1 minus volume of solids over volume of solids. Okay, so uh, the problem here now is that we don't have the volume of solids right now. Okay, so we're going to have to go up to our phase diagram and we're going to have to start to solve it in order to get the information we need to continue. So where are we going to start on our, on our phase diagram? Up here. So I'm just going to use this little area here for some rough work, okay, for the phase diagram. And that should be enough room, I think. So we have, um, what are we given here? Well, um, we're given the water content, that's good. And with the water content, what we can do is we can determine the mass of solids, okay? So the mass of solids is the, essentially the, uh, the dry density, okay? And because we have a meter cubed of sample, the dry density, whatever that number is, will equal the amount of solids in the sample. So we're going to get, find the dry density here, okay? The dry density, or we'll just use rho, actually, and that's going to be equal to 2100, okay? Divided by one plus uh, water content. And that is going to be equal to 18, I'll just, uh, 18, 1826, okay. Okay, so the mass of solids is equal to 1826. So this actually is a unit of uh, 1826 kilogram per meter cubed. Okay, but we have, we multiply by one meter cube, the meter cube will cancel, and then we're going to end up with 1826 kilos. So that's there, and uh, well, the mass of water, we know that the mass total is equal to mass of solid plus mass of water, okay, because there is no mass of air, air has no, has a very negligible weight, so we don't consider it. It has a volume, but we don't consider its weight, or its mass. So, let's go ahead and let's just calculate uh, MW by using this formula. Okay, so we're going to have 2100, just move this to the other side and subtract. So we have 2100 minus 1826, that's going to give us a mass of water of 274 kilos. Perfect. 
Okay, so uh, that's pretty good. Now let's um, let's move over here. Now for the volume of solids, we can get the volume of solids simply by taking the mass of the solids, which is 1826, and we can divide that by the specific gravity. And if we multiply the specific gravity by 1,000, right, because as we know, specific gravity is simply uh, the density of anything. It can be it could be anything divided by the density of water. So that's essentially so. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, so that ends up becoming 2.7, and it's unitless. So if we multiply that 1,000 back in, we're going to get 2,700 okay, kilogram per meter cubed, and that is going to give us a unit of meter cubed. Okay, and the unit, the value of that is 0 0.676 meters cubed. Sorry if you can't read that very well. But, okay. All right, so we have 0 0.676 meters cubed, and we can do use exactly the same technique to, and vo volume total, by the way, is one meter cubed. So uh, what we can do is we can use the exact same technique to find for, solve for the volume of water, okay? Because we have the mass of water here, we have 274, and we can just divide that by 1,000, and that's going to give us what? That's going to give us, let me write it down here, 0 0.274 meter cubed. Okay. Perfect. Now, um, and I'm just going to write this down here. Okay, I'll just put a little box here so you don't get confused. So the vo total volume is equal to the volume of air plus the volume of water plus the volume of solids. Okay? And so we have volume total, we have volume water, we have volume solids. We just uh, isolate for volume air. So it's just going to be 1 minus uh, volume water minus volume solids. Okay, And that is going to give us 1 minus 0 0.676 minus 0.274. And that is equal to 0 0.05 meter cubed. All right, and OK, so we've solved all that. Now we can come back down to our void ratio. And we can just plug this in. So we're going to have 1 okay, minus uh, 0 0.676. OK, and that's going to be divided by 0 0.676. So that is going to give us a void ratio of 0 0.479. It's 47.9%. Okay, so the there's 47.9% voids uh, by volume in the uh, sample of soil. Okay. Good to know. Finally, we need to do, solve for the degree of saturation. Okay, so the degree of saturation, and this is just a kind of a formula that you can remember, or you write on your cheat sheet, or it'll be on the formula sheet, is the volume of water, okay, divided by 1 minus the volume of solids. And as long as you have volume of water and volume of solids as the same units, this is going to work out just fine for you. Okay, so 0 0.274 divided by 1 minus 0 0.676 is going to give us 0 0.846, okay, which is equal to 84.6% saturated. And that's it. It's really simple. So uh, yeah, you know, that's that's a typical question you can like look for in a midterm, for example, in their first uh, first exam in soils and civil engineering. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, like and subscribe.